Hello Aries, welcome to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share widely. So what we do here, Aries, <clears throat> we will look into your overall energy for the months ahead. Before we then look at your emotional core, which means we um, you know, ask the guides if there's love coming in, if there's any healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially or how to go about it. So when you're ready, let's have a quick look at the overall energy for the sign of Aries for the months of February 2023. Okay, so Aries, New Year's resolutions, as nice as they are, just aren't for you. You are the first sign in the wheel. You are the guy that is a doer, that has to be a doer. So therefore putting a timeline on anything, uh, not just New Year's resolutions, but putting a timeline on anything, um, is not really how you tick. So what I'm getting here is, is that there's things that you want to achieve this year, which is great because it is a, it is a seven year, as I mentioned in the last video. Um, which means it's a really high energy year where you can actually achieve quite a lot. The point is that there's an inner energy here, an element here to your, to your progression um, at this point in time that has to do with chasing stuff. <clears throat> so if you are not sure where you're going, that's fine. Things will come. What you shouldn't be doing at this point in time, and that's just the overall energy for you, is to get anxious about <clears throat> where you are in life. Just relax a little around the situation you find yourself in and you're going to be fine. Okay, so let's look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, whatever needs to happen here. Okay, Aries, you are not asked this month to do anything apart from allowing whatever comes up to the surface to let that happen. So again, what I'm getting uh, as, the, as the energy for your sign this month rather strongly is um, a bit of anxiety. It's a bit like, oh, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's all shite. Where am I going from here? What, I, what should I be doing? And, and you might not actually feel it that way, but the energy of, of uncertainty is not something you like. And it is, and it is right here, boy. So, point the guides are making is, the um, when it comes to your emotional core, all they ask me to do is to literally sit back, allow yourself to feel whatever comes up, and then just allow yourself to let it go. And uh, if you need to manifest anything, that's what you need to manifest. I'm letting it go now. That's what you need to to say to yourself. I'm letting it go. Really, really important. Okay. Aries, that is your emotional core taken care of. Now, lastly, we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of February 2023 for your very sign. <laughs> okay, well, Aries, there is, there is two to three things on top of each other. So, if you feel that your life has no direction, that's one thing. But if you really pay attention to who am I, what would I like to do with my life, what really makes me happy, and then say, that's what I'm going to do, even if it sounds a bit utopian to you, that's exactly what's going to manifest. So you have two or three opportunities on top of one another, but they have to be explored one by one. So the, 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 the advice is to not just look at three jobs in a row and then pick the one that pays the best. You have to literally look at everything that presents itself to you and then go like, yeah, that is me, that isn't me, right? So it's it's more than just weighing it up because ultimately if you are exploring new opportunities and you haven't done them yet, it is hard to gauge which one will ultimately work, which is why they're asking you to be absolutely honest to yourself. So if there's something that you feel really makes sense but then you're pissed off because you have to drive there make it make a decision you're going to drive there right or maybe you're going to even move closer to it do that and then be content with what you find so in total aries the energy that that um that i'm getting for your sign this month is a bit of frustration to be fair um and um of you know 
I'm sick and tired of, 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 of doing all this. So that's the frustration part. Um, and it may not be that obvious to you because as the sign of a doer, you can be, as the sign of the doer, um, you're sometimes too busy to actually stop and pay attention to yourself. So please understand that frustration is a low vibration, a low energy. It doesn't really help manifesting anything. Right? So please allow yourself to just feel whatever you need to feel and take things as they come and weigh them up. Look at them and then decide based on how you truly feel um, what is it you should be doing. Anyway, Aries, that's all I got this month. Please like, subscribe and share. And please remember, that if you, when you scroll down here, um, the full moon reading for February 2023, uh, the full moon is in Leo this month, um, can be accessed here as well. Thank you so much. Goodbye from myself and Fidget. Hmm? Here we go. Bye-bye. I'm -bye. oh, sorry. <laughs>